Dwight Evans stands alone among almost all of the legislators in Pennsylvania. For him, time was up. Changes that they tried to bring about over the years didn't amount to much, and so what you have is a system that is completely broken. And despite the fact that millions and millions of dollars have gone into the Philadelphia public school system with no result, they continue to run it. So Dwight Evans got fed up. I started to really look at um, it was all of the children, uh, in the case of Philadelphia, being served, uh, all 217,000. And, and I kind of came to the conclusion that there are some good schools, and certainly good teachers and good principals and good parents, uh, but there are some children who are not being served. There needs to be options available uh, for parents uh, and children uh, where a particular situation may not be working for that particular child or parent. It's not where you can just park your child at a school and not pay attention of what's taking place in that environment. There's parent responsibility of paying attention to what does it take in terms of nurturing the environment regarding the child. So I think it's a combination of the parent, the teacher, the principal, the community as a whole, and no longer can we continue to make excuses. Uh, once we passed the charter school law, a group of us got together and we decided that we just didn't want to talk about it in theory. We wanted to show it in reality. Uh, this is the largest charter school in the city of Philadelphia and the largest charter school in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania in a startup. I mean, it takes energy, it takes time. Uh, I tell people we're like David versus Goliath in terms of the public school system. They have had 100 plus years to do what they do. We have only had literally three, four months. We had about 700 something people that applied. The school has about 548 young people here. And there's a waiting list of, of about 200. This is the school of the children and the school of the parents. Um, the teachers and the principal are a part of that partnership. There's kind of a shift in, in the mindset. One of empowerment, not entitlement. If we do not do what we say we're going to do here, in four or five years, we're gonna be out of existence. We're not gonna be able to function because people are not gonna send their children here. People are not gonna entrust their children in this environment if we do not perform. People have choices, and I think choices and competition are two very important elements. We have to have environments that basically give parents the, the opportunity to look and to evaluate what works uh, in their child's best interest. My vision is to move this charter school to make it one of the best charter schools in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and in the nation.